One of the most lethal volcanoes in the world is Mount Vesuvius, located close to the Bay of Naples in Italy. It has erupted more than 50 times. Its most famous eruption, without doubt, happened in the year 79 AD. In that year, it is estimated that more than 30,000 people lost their lives, and the famous town of Pompeii was completely buried under a thick blanket of ash. One eyewitness, Pliny the Younger, left us this account of the natural disaster. I believed I was perishing with the world. More and more ash clogged the air, making it difficult to breathe. And then all of a sudden, a 100 miles per hour surge of superheated poison gas and large rocks poured down the mountainside and devoured everything in its path. Pompeii had remained buried under the volcanic ash until 1748, when a group of explorers uncovered it almost perfectly intact. Everything was frozen exactly as it had been almost 2,000 years ago when the volcano erupted. Pompeii, at the time of the natural disaster, had become a popular resort town for wealthy Roman citizens. The streets were paved with stone. There were factories, artisan shops, taverns, motels, bathhouses, and elaborate and elegant houses found all throughout the city. There was a 20,000-seat sports arena, outdoor markets, and public parks. Here are some interesting tidbits that researchers have discovered in the ruins of Pompeii. There are records that describe a game called Trigon. It is a ball game where you throw the ball at other players and they have to catch it or lose points. Another discovery is the overcrowded court docket in Pompeii at the time of the volcano. There were more than 200 cases waiting to be heard. One case involved a wife calling her husband a dirty old man. I guess things do not change too much in 2,000 years. And of course, the world's oldest profession was also discovered among the ruins. A house was found that had many small rooms, each with a list of services and prices. Mount Vesuvius is still active today. The last time it erupted was 1944. It has a cycle of erupting about every 20 years. So there is a good chance the next eruption will be very violent. The area today is very densely populated, with roughly 3 million people calling the region home. I am Gary Vernier. And this has been a Pascual Bravo English Project Documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.